So the perimeter of a polygon is the total length of all the sides of the polygon, the total length. So if you have something like some shape like this, let's say, okay, and this is one, uh, one centimeter, let's say, and one centimeter and two centimeters and two centimeters, let's say, then the perimeter is just going to be one plus one plus two plus two. So the perimeter is going to equal that's four, five, six, six centimeters. If this is in centimeters, then your unit will be centimeters. If it's in miles, it'll be six miles. But the perimeter is six, okay? If you had, let's say, a complicated shape like, you know, something like this. You know, it could be any kind of shape. This is two, five, one, 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 one let's say. And then the perimeter is just going to be 2 plus 5 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1, 1, 1, 1, plus 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 once. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 once. Okay? Uh, and so when you add all this up, you're just going to get uh, 15. And like I said, it could be centimeters, could be miles, whatever. So this is 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. You just add up the sides. That's, that's called the perimeter, okay? It's called the perimeter. Uh, and then if you had, you know, something like a, a square, let's say, 1, 1, 1, 1, okay? Uh, then the perimeter is just 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1, which is just 4, okay, for the square here. Now... You can always add up the length of the sides and get the perimeter. I mean, that's what we're saying here. But sometimes, you know, in the books, you'll see perimeter formulas. Okay, which the thing to remember here is there's, there's, no, um, there's, there's no difference between when you have a formula that gives you the perimeter of a square, or the perimeter of a rectangle or something. It's no different than the basic concept. It's just the, the length of the sides going all the way around. Um, sometimes you just have a few shortcuts. So for instance, if this is a square, by definition, you know a square has the same length, all the sides are the same length, okay? So I'm gonna put S cubed means this is a square. And let's say that, that this length is S, this length is S, this length is S, this length is S, and the little cross lines mean that those are congruent, which just means they're all the same. Then the perimeter of a square, S cubed, okay? Uh, what do you think it's gonna be? It's going to be S plus S plus S plus S. And from your algebra, that's just equal to 4 times S. So in your book sometimes, you might see that the perimeter of a square is 4S. Okay? Um, and it's no different than just adding them up. It's just that you know that since S is the same for each length, all you have to do is multiply by 4. Okay? Um, and similarly, for a rectangle, if this is a rectangle, and this is the uh, length, and this is the length of the side, and this is the width, and this is the width of this side, notice W is equal to W and L is equal to L, because this, this is a rectangle after all, so this has to be the same as this, and this has to be the same as that. Then uh, the perimeter of a rectangle uh, is simply going to have to be equal to L plus L plus W plus W. So you're just adding them up, just like before, no different. Okay, uh, and so this is going to equal to 2L plus 2W, okay? So a lot of times in the book, you'll see it written like this, or you can also see it written as uh, 2 times L plus W, okay? So there's, there's no difference between this for the perimeter of a rectangle. I mean, these are all saying the same thing. It's just that since you know that L and L, two sides are the same, and these two sides are the same, you have a little formula that you can use, okay? You have a little formula that you can use, but the concept is the same. Here's another uh, little formula that you'll see sometimes. If you have a, a, a pentagon, a regular pentagon, okay, which is a pentagon that looks like this, with all congruent sides, all the same sides, okay, and the side is S, let's say, then the pentagon, the perimeter of the, of the regular pentagon, 
is just equal to 5 times s. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You just multiply it because you're adding them all up. Okay. So here, let's work some problems. You're going to find the perimeter of this square. Uh, and they're not going to really even tell you it's a square. They're just going to draw a picture for you. They're going to put these little marks here, which you're supposed to know. This means that these are all equal to one another. And this length is 5. It says find the perimeter. Well, the perimeter is just equal to 4 times s for a square. We already saw that over here. We're just basically adding these all up. So the perimeter is equal to 4 times 5, which is 20. So the perimeter of the square is 20. And if your unit was centimeters, then your unit would be centimeters here. Okay? We're just applying the, the principles of perimeter. And if this is a rectangle that you have here, let's save a little bit of space here. This is a rectangle. They're not going to tell you it's a rectangle. They're just going to tell you that's congruent to that, that's congruent to that. Okay? And they're going to tell you this has a length of 2 and this has a length of 4. And you're going to have to know that this is a rectangle because this is the same length as this and this is the same length as that. So in this case, the length is equal to 4 and the width is equal to 2. So you can use your perimeter of a rectangle, 2L plus 2W. 2L gives you the sum of these two, and 2W gives the sum of these two. Okay, so the perimeter uh, is equal to 2 times 4. L is, is 4, and W is 2. So the perimeter is going to equal 8 plus 4, which is just simply equal to 12. And it could be centimeters or inches or, or miles or, or whatever. Okay, so what we're going to do here is uh, just going to continue on and uh, do one with a, with a hexagon. Let's see. So here's a hexagon. And they're going to tell you, okay, these are all the same. Let's see. Okay. And they say this is five inches. One side they tell you is five inches. Well, the perimeter is just five plus five plus five plus five plus five plus five, which is, since you have six sides, is just six times the length of one side. So six times five, which is 30 uh, inches, let's say, if it was inches. So you're just taking the length of one side and since you know they're all the same, you're just multiplying. Now here we're gonna work backward, okay? We're gonna work backwards in a couple of these problems. So in this problem, the perimeter is eight and you're given a square. You know the length of the side of the square is S and you know that the perimeter is four times S. So you just plug it in. The perimeter is eight is equal to 4s, and you use your algebra, uh, s is equal to 8 divided by 4, which is 2. So you found the length of this, which is, could be 2 centimeters or 2 inches or whatever. So here you're kind of working backwards. You're given the perimeter, and you're trying to find one of the sides. So given that p is equal to 10, the perimeter is equal to 10, and also given this drawing here, so this is congruent with this, this side is congruent with this side, which just means they're equal. And you know that the length here is 3, and the width here is question mark. That's what you're trying to find. How would you solve that? Well, you know this is a rectangle. The perimeter is 2L plus 2W. We already presented that before. 2 times L gives you these two added together. 2 times W gives you these two added together. You know the perimeter is 10, so you just plug it in. Okay. You know that length is 3, so you put 3 in here, plus 2w. 10 is equal to 2 times 3 is 6, plus 2w. Move the 6 over, so you subtract. 10 minus 6 is 4, is equal to 2w. And then to solve for w, you just simply divide by 2. So 4 divided by 2 is 2. So you found the length here, uh, the width here, which is just simply 2. Okay, so we're just using our little formulas for perimeter to, uh, to apply here to the problems that we have, which are really not that hard. Perimeter is not a very hard concept to understand. So if you're given that the perimeter is equal to 25, and you're given this shape here, like this, and this is side S, and you know these are all congruent to one another then what, what would be the length of s? Well, the perimeter is just 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times s. Whoops. 5 times s. Okay? Because you're adding up every little side here. 
S plus S plus S plus S plus S. P, you're given is 25, and 5S, you're just going to keep and on the right-hand side. You're just plugging in for P here, and you just simply solve by dividing by 5. So S is equal to 25 divided by 5, which is simply 5. Uh, and if these solving these simple equations give you problems, you should go back and you know, either pick up my algebra DVD or just, just study it on your own. And uh, you know when you're solving for these things, you just do the opposite. So 5 is multiplied by S, so you just divide it to get rid of it on this side. And you divide 25 by 5 on the other side. You have to do the same thing to both sides, and then you'll get 5. So, so here, in this section, we've tackled the concept of perimeter, which isn't a really hard concept. It just means that perimeter is the length of an object all the way around the edge. And the way you find that is you add up all of the sides along the edge. Okay, And you can do that uh, just fine. And you'll see in, in the books that they define some formulas for certain shapes like rectangles and squares. And uh, you can solve a, a great many problems by knowing the concept of perimeter and how to apply those formulas. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.